today I'm talking to Catherine Davis. She's currently in her fifth year at Cardiff University of a medical degree. And she engaged with the Mullaney Fund in her during her GCSEs whilst she was at Birch Grove Comprehensive in Swansea. So hello, Catherine. Hi, yeah. You okay? Good, brilliant. Thanks very much for speaking to us today. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and a little bit more about what you're doing right now? Uh, so, as you said, um, I'm currently in my fifth year of medicine and final year um, in Cardiff. Um, at the moment, um, I'm currently on placement in um, Coventry, though, um, with the Air Ambulance Service as part of my elective, where we get to choose one of our placements that we do. Um, so I'm having a really good time, like experiencing medicine in a, a different part of uh, the UK. Excellent. And how long is your placement with the ambulance service in Coventry? Uh, so it's four weeks in total. Um, I'm currently on week three. Um, so yeah, it's great. I've get, got to see like a lot of um, a lot of different types of medicine, I'd say. Um, and obviously, like between Wales and England, there's slight differences in um, the NHS system, um, which I've got to see. And, you know, thinking about the future as well, if I do ever decide to work in England, it's interesting to see those differences. Mm. OK, and what's been one of the most exciting or most interesting things you've learned whilst you've been on your elective placement? Um, oh, I'd say I really enjoyed um, sort of learning about the interventions you can do pre-hospitally. So, for example, putting someone to sleep and the impact that can have um, and the science behind it, I find really fascinating. Um, and it's such a it's such a big um intervention to do pre hospitally um but seeing all the doctors and critical care paramedics be so like um in sync with each other when they're doing this big procedure um it's just amazing to see the teamwork side of it as well mm. so that sounds like a real highlight on your course so far. Can you tell me about any other any anything else you've really enjoyed or found particularly interesting so far? Um, I'd say throughout the five years, um, I've just really enjoyed um the variety of placements that um I've had. Um, you know, I've been all over Wales from north to south to west, mm -hmm. um, and experienced such a a variety from obstetrics and gynecology to GP to surgery um, and seeing that not only variety of specialties but variety across Wales as well um, and just getting to meet lots of different people and you know all the the healthcare professionals that are so mm. like enthusiastic to um, to work with you so yeah I've really enjoyed it. Okay, and um, at this stage, are you able to say if there's a particular area of medicine that you'd like to specialise in? I'd say there's definitely things I'm interested in. Um, at the moment, I think anaesthetics might be something that I could see myself doing long term. Um, but I feel like it's obviously a little bit tricky when you're... A student and you're not doing that placement day in mm. day out for 365 days of the year so yeah I'm definitely going to try and get some more exposure to anaesthetics during um, my junior doctor years and you know take it from there see if it is really for me. Mm. Yeah I know a few of those and they, it's a really good path to take. Yeah it so sounds really you, Sorry if you think back to when you were at Birch Grove Comprehensive, what first inspired you to consider a career in the life sciences? I think I'd always really enjoyed um, science in school. Um, I also, from quite a young age, was part of um, St John's Ambulance um, cadets, um, where, you know, you got to see the importance of, like, knowing basic first aid. Um and seeing potentially like the implications of knowing that and I think 
it sounds a bit like corny, but I've always wanted to have some sort of career path where I helped people um, and just sort of like putting them those factors all together um, sort of led me to a career like towards medicine and life sciences. Um, I think specifically medicine was sort of the fact that from a very young age, um, my dad was a mechanic and we had classic cars. So, um, you know, he'd always have me in the garage um, and that sort of problem solving, uh, logistical thinking, I really enjoyed. And I think that really does nail medicine on the head, uh, Mm. really. Wow, that's a fantastic answer. I like that. We, maybe we need to have another chat about classic cars. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and there's nothing corny about wanting to help people. That's fantastic. That's really good. So um, can you tell us a little bit about how you engaged with the Mullaney Fund and how useful you found that at the start of your journey? Yeah, so um, I think... Towards GCSEs, it started getting a little bit scary, this idea that I sort of wanted to do medicine, but I had no family members who did medicine. I didn't know, like, any family friends who were doctors at all, so, or even, like, in the healthcare profession, to be honest. So it was one of those, like, quite daunting things. Like, you can read uh, when you look at universities that you need, you know, it's normally either A-level biology, chemistry, maths, you know, some sort of com- combination between the three. Um, and I just sort of felt like I didn't know what really applying to medicine meant, what it was from like a student perspective and what it was like to work as a as a doctor within medicine. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I was just looking for something where I could really get an insight into that and um I came across um uh, Mulaney through um school and it just seemed like the perfect opportunity to sort of find out more about not only medicine but STEM as a wider career if um you know medicine wasn't a hundred percent quite right for me. Um so yeah it was great being paired with someone that you know had been through it and could give you a uh, like down to earth proper here's the pros here's the cons um and this is what you need to do if you're interested in that great that's really good and uh what kind of medical person was your mentor uh so i believe they were i think they were actually a foundation doctor um okay. they were either foundation doctor or they were near the end of applying, like finishing medicine, I think. Mm. Um, and yeah, no, they must have been foundation because they were able to tell me about like the job rotations and stuff like that that they were going through at the moment. Um, so yeah, it okay. was really insightful because like speaking to someone who was actually working it, who actually had shift patterns and things like that. Mm. Um, it was really, really useful in that sense. Yeah, you really get to hear it from the horse's mouth and uh, know what it's like compared to just a, a glossy brochure from a university. Yeah. All right. One last question for you then, Catherine. Um, if you imagine that you're talking to a, a group of GCSE students in a school now, what would be one tip that you would share if they were considering a similar path to yourself? I think um, I definitely emphasise getting early work experience, um, no matter what it is. Um, you know, even if you think it isn't quite the aspect of medicine that might interest you, um, like most doctors have done different types of medicine before they finally specialise, so they're great to talk to in that sense anyway. Um, and also it gives you a bit of a flavour of what, exactly you're setting yourself up for um because obviously like five years in uni is quite a long time um and yeah you want to make sure that it's right for you really um so yeah 100 percent get early work experience and make the most of every opportunity you get brilliant Okay, Catherine. Well, thanks very much for sharing that with us. And um, I'm sure anyone who listens to this in the future will be 
very enthusiastic about uh, following in your footsteps. And we wish you all the very best on what's left of your course and, and your career into the future. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much.